Hey everybody, happy Monday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And today is Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. And Monday is always the mechanics of songwriting. And uh, on Mondays, what we do is, uh, for those of you who've never been here on a Monday, um, what we do is we take a look at songs that are on the Billboard's top, you know, 140, you know, and uh, listen to different songs that are, you know, out right now, currently in high rotation on radio or, you know, um, and we study what makes a hit song a hit song. Well, today, instead of like just going through the regular pop that I normally do, today what I did was I looked at the Billboard's top 40 alternative music. Um, so I'm getting a little bit more wider spectrum of um, range as far as music. Um, not just like, you know, the standard Justin Bieber's Ariana Grande's. And I, although I love that stuff too, I'm just expanding and broadening our horizon a little bit with just a little bit more variety. And today um, I picked a song which is um, defined by, you know, um, the genre as EDM. And it's a collaboration of two people. Um, the name is Rez and Grabbits. Now, both of those people are um, electronic heavyweights in their own. I've, I've never heard of them before until just today. So I, you know, I spent a lot of my day today doing research and listening to all kinds of music today. And it was pretty amazing. There's some really good stuff out there. And, um, and not just pop. It's very experimental and... There's all kinds of degrees of rock and alternative and um, just things that are really out there. This is one of those kinds of songs. The song is called Someone Else. And, um, you know, I have to say that even though the style and the genre is written down as EDM, electronic dance music, I, I can hear that. I can hear that why they would call it that. But also, I'm hearing a lot of things blurring and blending into rock and a collage of many styles. There's, you know, there's some of it's very wordy, almost like hip hop, you know, like rap. And um, not this song particularly. This song reminds me a lot of Trent Reznor and Nine Inch Nails. It's got a, it's got a very electronic synthy sound but there's a lot of dissonance in it um it's got elements of rock um i really like the song i mean i listened to so many songs and this song kind of really jumped out at me and made me really sit up and take notice and you know that's hard to do when you listen to like hours of just kind of hooks the choruses of songs and when one really jumps out, you know it's got to be good when it's in a sea of others. You know, like it just, that one stood out to me, head and shoulders above the others. And like I said, it's got elements of like alternative rock sound to it. It's got a Trent Reznor Nine Inch Nails kind of a vibe to it. Um, it also has... You know, it, it it has rock because, you know, the drums are real, but then you got like synthy drums too. And then you have, there's guitars in there too. And there's even harmonies. And then there's parts when it's very distorted. And then other parts where everything drops out and it's real clean. There's just a few little elements with the vocal. So you have a lot of different things going on in this. There's a lot of textures. And, you know... um, Part of what we look at as well is not just the hook and the um, what makes a song so memorable. Sometimes, you know, um, sometimes like songs that aren't quite as apparently universally hits, like, you know, you would think uh, like a Pink song, 
you know, is, you know, it's got like a, a certain formulaic makeup, you know, and where, where today I was looking for things that weren't quite so formulaic as far as what constitutes a hit song. Sometimes, like a lot of times in this class on these, on um, what makes a hit song a hit song, we break it down to say, you know, what makes this so catchy and so universally um, likable. Now, this song might not be that for everybody, um, but because, you know, I'm again, I'm, it's only me, my opinion, but, you know, because I come from a rock background, you know, I can't deny my roots as a rock and roll person. And even though I love pop and I love R&B and I love rap and I love everything, you know, sometimes things are going to um, present themselves to me where I say, hmm, that, that takes me back a little bit to my rock and roll upbringing, but in a new way, you know. So, um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you this song. Um, I love that song. I hope you guys enjoy that song. I think it's really, really cool. Um, you know, I, I was just going to say, it's it sort of has um, um, almost like Snow Patrol. I don't know if you guys remember Snow Patrol, but um, I've played you guys in class, Snow Patrol, and I think they're amazing. I love the band. I love those guys. And um, it almost has some vibe like that. And I love the key changes, too, where, like, I love songs that you think the key is going to go a certain place and it goes somewhere else. And it just kind of makes a left turn on you a little bit. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have. Um, I hope you enjoyed that song. Um, send me some of your ideas about what songs we should review here on the mechanics of songwriting and what makes a hit song a hit song. Well, until tomorrow, I will see you guys live uh, tomorrow on the Zoom class for our vocal class. Uh, until then, guys, I love you. I miss you. And I hope you're well. All right. This is Joe Stevie signing off. Until we meet tomorrow. Peace.